hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to Owen Wilson's YouTube channel. <laughs> this is, uh, Owen Wilson was recently featured with Red Helix uh, in a platoon video called The Battle of Middleburg. And I'd like to tell you now, this is the beautiful game on Falls Creek. And this is Blitz, basically uh, in its finest form, in the kind of game that you love to have, win, lose, or draw. And I'm driving the VK7201. Now, I copped a lot of flack when I called this the worst tank in Tier 10. And people said, I do really well on this tank. And the fact of the matter is, I do very well on this tank. The reason I don't think it's a good tank for the tier, and I, I call it the worst tank at Tier 10, is because so many people struggle in it since it is a completely different play style to pretty much any other tank you drive. You can see the part that you want to show is actually the part that most people want to hide in most tanks, that lower glacis. Now this game's an interesting story. The real interesting part with this entire thing is you can uh, see I am holding the front line on Falls Creek in a big ass, buffy, German heavy, a pieting monstrosity that is best suited to slightly edging out, drawing shots on its upper and lower glacis at this kind of angle, and then dumping a 150 millimeter dose of derp into the bad guys. Owen Wilson has found his minerals, and he has decided that he is going to play aggressively because he is running in the Object 263, and Owen has hooked around low on the Falls Creek fall line. And he's overlooking the river, and on his right is our sole medium, and he's not seeing anything on the medium flank. He's unspotted. Indeed, he's wondering if he shouldn't just get a little bit aggressive and do something with this big bad boy. That's when he sees the only medium on the red team, the E50. And he thinks there's a golden opportunity to come in here and get flank shots on these tanks that are starting to push the ditch. It's all right too, because he's on comms with me. We're on live stream and he's gonna tell me when the time to drop in is. The only problem is Owen hadn't really discussed this with me. And he called the drop in around about now. And I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure? I don't know if that's a good idea. Owen, is this a good idea? Even as I rolled forward, I knew this was a crazy thing. And the third member of this conversation, which is Paralyde, who is directly in front of me here in the IS-4, and who is in a squad with his Amigo over there, is uh, also live streaming Blitz. And he's he talked to me after the game and said, uh, man, you, you guys kind of went a little bit too hard in that ditch. And I'm like, yeah, Owen called me and said we're going. And because I'm a good platoon mate, I went. The only problem is the entire red team funneled down into that ditch and uh, Owen and I absolutely had to pull stumps. Owen's going to get rammed by the T110E4 and that's all it. Super aggressive play, which actually put a lot of shots into one of the best players on an enemy team. That's the IS-4 that you just saw there. We've had to go into a very, very defensive mode now. And you can see the last moments of Owen Wilson. And he actually allows me, draws that E4 down. I keep the IS-4 between me and the Jaegeru. And despite the fact that I really wanted to get another shot in on that IS-4 there, I more than happily pull away from this entire engagement, take a snapshot into the side of the e, uh, E5, and start hiding my bad self behind the E100, who's got a whole lot more hit points than I do. And the red tanks are now coming like the sea. This is where you can see our medium, which is Tiki Dingo, another mate of mine who's in a T62A, start to hustle his ass back towards the spawn to do bad things to good people. I'm looking for shots on the Yeageru, and I'm lucky enough to get one. Sausage Boy, another friend, <laughs> goes down, side scraping, and I am pulling back and showing that upper glacis and lower glacis. And this boys and girls, is where the VK7201 is actually a spectacularly effective tank. It's got a very strong turret and it has a very, very strong upper and lower glacis, which means that you can get situations like this and really grind and leverage to your advantage by poking that upper glacis, drawing shots, and basically fulfilling your role, your dream role, as a heavy tank. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm begging to be hit. And we've done really, really well thus far to somehow manage to get this across the line. There's that A5 again. We get another hit, and we're looking like we could actually do something crazy. Not to be outdone, uh, our last remaining medium tank over there, you can see Tiki Dingo from the Mumba Clan, is pushing hard and hot 
into the middle of the ditch. I'd love to go help him, but Tiki, I really can't. There's a Jaegeru who, even with Promo, can't pen that gun mantlet. And I am pushing upwards. Tiki does good things. I'm trying to pull back. I don't want to be the cause of Tiki's death, but oh my god, that was tough. Two on three left. I've got to make this shot. And we do straight through the side panel on the upper glacis. Owen Wilson is remorseful in the live chat. But in the other side of the map, without care or frolic, is our mate, the IS-4, Paralyzed, and he's Amigo in the IS-4. I'm tempted to go to a HE round, but I'm glad I don't there. Getting a 470, nearly 500 roll, into the lower glacis of the IS-4. Owen's calling for the other IS-4 to rush, and I'm all over that, because if he can take some heat and take a couple of shots from me, then we can do something. Oh my god, that Russian shoulder. Really, really, that was just... Oh man, seriously? Come on. Now it's just down to me and this IS-4 on the left, and it's really, really great in terms of a game. Uh, Paralyte had to angle to the IS-4, he had to choose one of us, and he probably made the right choice in choosing to worry about me. Much better gun on the IS-4. It's down to this. Sun, Moon, Lion <laughs> versus IS-4 Platoon, mate. Uh, Paralyte. Everyone has thrown everything at the wall. It's been a wonderful game. I was saying on stream, this is the type of way Blitz should be played. And it's wonderful. It's come down to two tanks, both with just enough hit point pulls to get it done. Who's going to come out on top? Sun, Moon, Line. This is your moment. Great shot. Very brave move by the IS-4, Bazchuk. This is it. Clutching. Oh, just hits under the bottom of the gun mantlet. And Sun Moon Line gets it done. Good game all. Wonderful stuff. That's Blitz, the beautiful game. I really enjoyed that game on live stream. Just about 4K. Uh, very, very skilled and worthy opponents in both uh, terms. The IS-4 and the rest of the red team. Tiki Dingo doing a great job in the T-62A. Scavenging uh, damage off the rest of us. As we uh, held that line and you just pushed up and was super aggressive. Sorry I got you killed, Tiki. And uh, yeah, just a, a wonderful all-round example of how Blitz can be a lot of fun. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to take part in those live streams, just be a patron. It's patreon.com forward slash Bushka on Blitz. Until next time, stay safe in the battlefield and bye for now.